Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to go on over 6.4.2, the second quest of 6.4. And I just want to show you a run through of what the map looks like. So, like normal, there's six paths. And for this quest, I found well, this path is like a yellow jacket type path, not that hard. This one, not that hard. Footloose, it's, it seems hard, but it's really not that hard. I did it. Almost all these lanes are really easy. You got this lane. With, with this lane, tunnel vision can be really it can be easy, but these two fives right here worry me. Those are going to be really bad. But every lane really doesn't have that hard of a fight. There's a domino here, but she doesn't have any like, hard nodes in her. This path's really easy also, but the only path that really worries me is this path right here. It has Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Ebony Maw, Spider Gwen, Void, Ghost, Beast, Thing, Electro, and Man Thing. All very annoying fights. And then it has this horrible node combination. But yeah, I'm going to go into the video now. I'm going to show you all six lanes, like in order from easiest to hardest, in my opinion, because I've done them all. And I haven't fully completed them, but I've done the nodes, I know what they are, and then the boss right at the end. So yeah, let's hop into it right now. Hopefully you enjoy. So for the very first path, it literally pretty much just has aggression precision, which is basically not even a node because it's only like, you won't really be getting hit. And this dominant was like the only hard fight in the entire path, and it also has the um, node where, I forgot what it's called, but like um, the closer you are to them, you slowly start building up what's it called um weakness debuffs, which is, is more annoying than anything. But this node overall, there's no like voids in this path to really take advantage of the weakness debuffs, so it's pretty much fine. But yeah, this n lane is pretty easy. Like there's not much to worry about. But other than that, yeah, this is definitely the easiest path probably out of the six you can do. So yeah, let's hop into the second one. This next lane has. Well, this next lane and then another lane are pretty much tied for second and third hardest, or fourth, or technically fourth and fifth hardest. They're not that hard, but this one basically is every time you get up to a bar of power. So like right when I get up to a special one, it'll put yellow jackets like um sting on me, so you can't use special for six seconds. But what I found that makes this node probably easier than the other the node the next node is this one. You don't really get punished by doing anything. You just but I found out the bio sting, I think it's called, yeah, it doesn't really ever affect you because you just don't really ever really get to a special. And you might be able to push it if you're lucky, but like, you're not going to be doing that many specials on this path. So this node doesn't really, it's more just annoying than anything. It's just, you can't, won't be throwing out specials. So yeah, this node is more just annoying, not hard. So the third, or next hardest on the list is a node called Typhoon, which is, we've seen this node in... What is it? Variant 3, I think it was. Which was, if they use 10 specials, or basically how it works is, every time they use a special attack, you are going to be getting a, um, a little, like, shock thing on the top left of your screen, but, like, not a shock debuff, just, like, a little icon that looks like a shock. And, well, you'll see in a second. I throw a special, I have, like, this orange deep, um, just passive on me. And if you get to 10 of them, they detonate, and they do some damage, but... I can't remember if it's just a shock debuff that detonates or if it's just a debuff, but that's if they throw off 10 specials. You can clear them by getting to a special 3, but what I found with this node that makes it harder than the, the other lane, I would say, is every time they throw a special, you lose a little bit of power, so you're not really ever going to get to a special 3, so I don't know how they expect you to deal with this node. I think I did this with Corvus, which you can see right here, and... The thing about Invisible Woman that's really weird is every, whenever you have an armor break on her, like um, like when you block with Corvus, she takes way more damage. It feels like you have a charge even if you don't. So this is the very first fight in the path, so it's pretty easy to actually build up. And so right here, I'm fighting her normally, and I actually beat this fight without her even getting to the 10 charges. So if we're bringing up champions, mass, max booster to just... Any hard, hard hitters, you probably won't have to worry about this node. Or you could um, use Ghost and then do the um, Hood Synergy so you don't take damage when the detonation happens. Or the Shock debuffs, or whatever it does when it detonates. I can't remember if it's a Shock or you just take damage. But either way, just use hard hitters for this path. 
see i did this fight i actually managed to push her to a spe i pushed myself to a special too and this um actually won me the fight which was interesting i she didn't throw any specials and i oh yeah i got it on low and then i killed her so yeah this path a little bit harder but i never even got into 10 specials so as long as you have a hard hitter you'll be good the next path we got is footloose mixed with this other one, which is basically they have like a 20 um percent chance to evade and if they do you get like 10 percent um power back which i don't know i was just checking to see if i'd mystic dispersion here but i don't know how accurate this note is because it says 20 percent chance to evade and then with the footloose node basically it makes it so when they throw a special they have an unblockable and evade debuff or buff on themselves so characters like captain america work really well for this path i figured but it says 20 percent chance to evade but i wouldn't be too worried because i did this entire lane and it did not feel like 20 percent. it felt like substantially less like i in this entire lane i only got evaded like a few times like a handful of times basically so i don't know if that was just like crazy like luck oh she evaded there but like i don't know if it was crazy luck but as long as you're like playing smart and you get fast reactions this path is definitely like the fourth hardest but like or third technically but it's not like that bad if you know what i mean like it's really a pre it's a pretty easy path like here i use my special three i did this whole path with corvus and i don't think i even died with him it was pretty easy and the health pools are lower than six point um what's it 6.3 so that's good but look i just what did i do i guess there's like a special two and the fight's pretty much just over like it didn't feel like that high of an evade chance so you guys should be fine when you do this yourself so yeah on to the next path so this next path the second hardest in my opinion is tunnel vision mixed with crit me with your best shot mixed with like another crit node but that's crit node helps you so basically tunnel vision is you can't do the same action twice or get a falter debuff and the only way to get it off is to like miss an attack so like you just parry and miss but with this crit and then the crit um crit me with your best shot is you can only take damage from crits so like ghost corvus easy but i did find that this node the um the crit one it actually helps the players it's like if you land you like the same attack that you started with so like a medium light medium or medium light 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 medium i think the next hit will guaranteed be crit so you can use champions that don't i mean they don't have like a guaranteed crit but they could still technically work by just doing medium light mediums but corvus and ghost are just mvps and one thing that's really cool about this node which you're going to see coming up soon is you know everyone knows corvus has his glaive charges and then once you run out you don't do any damage really but this node as you can see i still guarantee the crit because i started medium light medium look at this so corvus actually works for this path which is pretty sick i did this whole fight one shot at it with the corvus with no charges you know it was really really good node except i forgot i couldn't use special two there so that's kind of a rip but the one only thing annoying about this fight I'd say is Joe fix it special one you block all the hits really so you're gonna get the falter like every time. But the falter is also kind of good for the player and sometimes because if you have wool power you can heal from it if you need to if you're like desperate and need the healing. So this lane it's not that bad if you have Corvus or Ghost which if you're in six point four you probably have one of the two but I can't guarantee anything. Uh, you know not everyone's lucky but you probably have one of the two hopefully if you don't this path is probably not for you but any champion can work and this path the only problem is, is like there's a corgan and nihilus way farther in the path which are not fun characters to fight so this is definitely the second hardest path in 6.4.2 but the next path that we're about to be going over is so bad like i hate this path just by looking at the node is so bad so yeah let's get into it so this node is clap back and cornered which aren't really important at all to the node but then there's this node that she can she takes 90 percent less damage so you're seeing my havoc's doing like no damage unless the only i mean the only time she takes normal damage is if you have a prowess on you with a special attack so i have a prowess right now but i'm still doing like no damage so, like, the only damage you're doing is if you have a prowess buff in it on yourself, and then you use your special attack. So, the only two champions that come to mind when I think of prowess are Havoc and Emma Frost. There's probably definitely others, but these are the 
Havoc's definitely the one that came to mind first, and Emma Frost also. I'm probably going to have to look at what champions have um, prowess, but, like, you literally just... I'm In this fight, I'm pretty much only doing damage on Havoc Special 3. And I don't... Uh, like, I really don't like this node, because there's not, like, that many... Cha there's, like, only a handful of champions that even have prowess buffs. I'm thinking Gambit also, maybe... But, I mean, I don't think anyone has, like, a five-star maxed out Gambit. So this path looks like it's just going to be Havoc and Emma Frost carrying. There probably are other characters I'm not thinking of right now. Oh, um, what's his name? Sunspot is probably really good for this also. Except she has clap back in 300%. Yeah, you know, that wouldn't even work. Havoc, I mean, Sunspot's probably not even good for this node. So I think this is just a hot, uh, sun, sun, Sunspot probably won't work, yeah, because the 300%. Uh, bio has or not bio, three hundred percent power gain, with debuffs afflicted, and then clap back also. So this is just gonna be a havoc carry lane. So yeah, this path is pretty bad. And finally, we we'll make it to the boss. This path, the boss, he's not bad. Basically, the only two nodes that really matter are prove yourself, and then everyone, and then um his specials only take fifty percent less power. So like if he has two bars of power and he throws off his special too. He'll have half of it left, so he'll have a bar of power still, which is kind of annoying because he's just going to be spam specials. And then the indestructible node is also really annoying because it's 15 hits, and if you mess up like I just did, you got to start the combo all over again to do damage, and this guy is crazy health. And then he also has some blockable specials and death touch on them, but if you're in 6.4, you're probably never going to get hit by Thor Ragnarok specials, so it's not that big a deal. It's just annoying because he's spamming them. And then his power gain every 20 hits is timed with this, so like this is really bad. For suicides like unless you have ghost and you can do like the hood thing like, swipe back so you don't take a recoil but like this fight it's definitely not like fights in 6.3 bosses were probably w i think 6.3 bosses were so far more challenging than the first two bosses we've seen in 6.4 like by far but these guys are just more tedious i'd say i guess because this fight's just long I just brought in Venom, but if you bring in a way heavier hitter, you'd probably do more. But these guys have, like, over 500,000 now. These are, like, Realm of Legends fights with, like, annoying nodes. And it, if you didn't have that 50% power gain thing, like, after each special, this fight would probably be a lot easier. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. 6.4.2. Not that bad, except for that one lane that I really don't want to ever do. Like, that lane looks terrible. Unless you don't have, like, a maxed out Havoc, that lane, or Hammer Frost, or someone else that I'm not thinking of. That lane is pretty, probably definitely the worst lane that I don't think for completion anyone's going to go down in the first lane. There's so many more easier lanes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.